welcome everyone to my Pokemon Let's Go Sun and Pokemon Let's Go Moon playthrough. I hope you guys are excited for the shenanigans that we are pulling off today because we are going to play Pokemon Sun and Moon with the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee rules, which means no battling Pokemon. We can only train through catching Pokemon by throwing Pokeballs or just trainer encounters. And there's a lot of really interesting things that are going to be happening right here. First off, you might notice I'm just starting right after the catching tutorial. Mostly because the first 40 minutes of the game are completely scripted. There, There is nothing that a Let's Play can bring about this aspect of the game, so I'm just going to jump right into the actual action, which means we're, we're starting off this series strong. Also, another really interesting thing to note is that Route 1 in uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon, also like the 7th generation Route 1, even the 6th generation had this for their first routes, you cannot fail a capture. There's a 100% catch rate in Pokemon Sun and Moon before the festival starts at Ikey Town, which gives us a little bit, I'm not going to say an advantage, because Pokemon Sun and, or not Pokemon Sun and Moon, there's a lot of names that will be dropping. Because Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, they're going to actually be very balanced. The catching looks a lot easier. It looks like, you know, you throw a Pokemon and the catch rate is going to be a lot higher than a full health Pokemon in the other games that we've been playing. So because of that, I'm going to use all 10 of my Pokeballs, just try to get as much experience as possible. But we can even see that we're gaining a lot of experience right now. And I think it's actually going to be really fun to see how similar this could be to Let's Go, at least for the first island. I feel like there's going to be some kind of difficulty curve as we get into the other routes and other areas and have to buy more expensive Pokeballs. So that is one thing I want to make clear. That whatever you see here is not going to be exactly like Let's Go because Game Freak is already balanced. We've, saw that we've seen this from the E3 uh, demos and stuff. We've already seen that Game Freak has balanced Let's Go really well. You gain bonus experience on the what we what looks to be the pretty much the same uh, like experience rates and stuff. You gain expo uh, you gain bonus experience for the captures. But also you get Pokeballs left and right. You beat a trainer, get some Pokeballs. You walk by a bush and your partner Pokemon's following you, you get some Pokeballs. So it's going to be easy right there. But I mean, after two captures, we're already level 7. So we did the battle with Hao when like we first get our Pokemon. And this is actually cool. Like, so far, I'm liking this. I'm like, I really like the idea behind Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, just from that capturing aspect. You don't need wild Pokemon battles to have a main series Pokemon game, as long as the encounter is there. What's the end result? You end up with a Pokemon that you use on your adventures to get stronger, and stuff like that. Actually, in a, in a weird, poetic, ironic way? I don't really know. But in some kind of like, oh yeah, I was going for this Pokeball, because I actually don't think I picked up any of the items on Route 1 the first time going through. So there might actually be a spare Pokeball here, which we will need to use to catch as many Pokemon as possible to get as much experience before the game starts to uh, kick up. I mean, this is kind of like its own fun little experience. I should have done this when I played Pokemon Sun and Moon originally, because it's about grind in a way. You know, you get to have a little bit extra fun. It, it gets to be a little more interesting when you pull it off like this. Uh, we don't get EXP, like, also with Pokemon uh, Let's Go, it's like there's a global EXP share, even at Viridian Forest, and we don't get EXP share until Trainer School in this game? And so the Pokemon that are in my party, they're not going to be gaining experience, but I mean, I'm just going to use uh, Poplio to mostly YOLO through everything and try to gain a lot, of, a lot of experience, but this is going pretty well. So yeah, what we saw from the demo is, oh, there's just potion. We're going to need those, because we can't fight, so if we fail a runaway... Or if we fail a lot of captures, it's not going to go too well. But I'm going to battle all the trainers, catch as many Pokemon as possible. If I wanted to get really min-max with this, I could only I could only try to use my 100% catch, catch rate on the highest level Pokemon I can encounter. But overall, I'm having a lot of fun right now. Because I really like the catch rate in Pokemon um, Let's Go Pikachu, or like the catching in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. And back to the poetry about this. And that Pokemon Sun and Moon... You know, it's a main series game despite removing gym battles. It removed a core mechanic of the game and replaced it with something else that's equal. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee is doing the same thing, same exact thing. But people aren't saying that like, oh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee is of course, oh. I just wasted a Pokeball because I thought I was in a wild battle. There goes some experience and I took some extra damage for free. Did I actually burn my Pokeball? How many do I have? Whoop. Seven. Okay, no, so we got pick a pack two ladybugs. Alright, so they, they at least didn't, like, I think in the other Pokemon games, you could actually just waste them, which was really interesting. But, um, yeah, so, like, we're, we're exchanging one mechanic for another, but that doesn't mean it's automatically a spin-off game, because we already saw that with Pokemon Sun and Moon. 
So that's what I'm thinking. Like, there's a lot of really cool things that are going on right now. So with Pokemon Let's Go, also the trainer battles, there's going to be enough of them. Like, with Pokemon Sun and Moon, I was able to, like, I just used Repel the entire time. Quick Balls and Repel. I already played Pokemon Sun and Moon like I was playing Let's Go before the game was even known to exist. Before we even knew anything about a Nintendo Switch Pokemon game. And I was able to get enough experience to beat the game just off of, like, wild trainers. <laughs> wild trainers. Just trainer battles and stuff like that. Also, there's, like, that one freaking hair. Like, whenever you put on a hat, it's always touch and go as to how things are going to go. So that that's my masterful ace commentary right there. I also don't think I ever battled this chick. Like, I was like, oh, grass. I'm going to walk around the grass and beat this game faster. Because I, I mostly just want to beat the game to start making guides to go into my content. Uh, but one thing I've already realized, like, yeah... This game handholds so like every time you play Pokemon Sun and Moon, it handholds more than you remember. And especially with like Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. When I was going through that Let's Play again, they they changed it up, but it was still the same thing. You walk five steps, cutscene. You walk five steps, someone stops you and tells you where to go. Hated that. I I hope that's not in Let's Go. So I mean, we can only go up from here. People are like, oh, it's gonna be an easy baby handholding game in Pokemon Let's Go. It seems like it's just it can only get better from the Pokemon Sun and Moon story, especially because we're in Kanto and we know the Kanto story is pretty freeform unless they actually say like there's there's gonna be restrictions and i feel like one of them is going to be to face kogo you need x amount of badges or something it's not like you can do the weird routing and then battle everyone like you could actually do lieutenant surge sixth blaine seventh and then um giovanni eighth like you could do like a weird order if you wanted to it hurts you on the hms that you can use and like your overall wild like your wild, wild usage of stuff but um it's not bad also another thing we need to do is battle all the trainers so we can afford pokeballs because I feel like Pokeballs might actually be cheaper in Let's Go. Or there's going to be some kind of mechanic. Like, we're, we're getting uh, big pearls by Pewter City. We're going to be loaded when it comes to money. Also, I'm going to see if I can just take this piece and just tuck it back there. There we go. That looks fine. Um, yeah, we're going to be loaded on money when it comes to this game. Also, I feel like I should be playing faster. Because, like, this, this Pokemon... Man, I've already been playing this for, like, ten minutes. But this is still pretty cool. Oh, wait, I don't... Did I, did I already fail the lock? I didn't mean to attack. It, it's so much habit. I'm like, oh, trainer battles. Well, we can't gain experience. How about that's it? Like, we... Oh, but... Okay, the catch rate doesn't matter here. Catch rate doesn't matter. We can only gain experience through catching. And there's no battling. I'm, I'm going to try to hold up to it. But I don't think anything really changed right there. I... I, I so, you, that's another thing I have to be aware of. Because I'm, I'm trying to beat this fast enough to justify how long it takes to get through things. And then I'm going to just kind of gain experience. But, I mean, we're level 8 off of just catching Pokemon and battling trainers. We're going to pop out of this, like, level 11 after we battle Hal, right? It's, it's going to be pretty nuts. So, we caught that Pokemon. Again, I don't remember if there's, like, any items around or stuff like that. So, let's do this. Pokeball! Hey, look at that. So, I mean, yeah, if we wanted to, we could just spam catch. And that's honestly... What I really, really like about Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Because the Pokemon Let's... Is that another Pokeball? Like, potions? There's all kinds of items here. Like I said, I never picked them up because I didn't think I need these super entry early game items. That's one thing I like about Pokemon Let's Go, is grinding. If you've seen my Pokemon Quest playthroughs, you can check out the playlist in the description below. Didn't even make a fake cough right there. But yeah, like, Pokemon Quest is a super fun game. If you just like grindy app games. That's my life. RuneScape... Pokemon Quest, uh, Minecraft, I just want to hoard resources and then just do things and feel rewarded for my experience, and I feel Pokemon Let's Go is for me. Like, it's, it's perfect. A lot of people hate Minecraft, a lot of people hate all the games I've mentioned, and maybe that's why they don't think Let's Go is for them, because if, this, if it is for you, it's, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be really good. So that's why I, I'm actually kind of feeling that. I'm, I'm enjoying right now just catching all the Pokemon in my way, because I don't feel any stress from battling, I don't feel like an encounter is going to be a drag. And we can actually avoid wild encounters if we need to and let's go. Uh, we can battle that kid. I want to, like, burn through all my Pokeballs before I battle that guy. Because I'll be higher level. I'll be able to get a lot of, like, damage on the water guns. And then I won't have to worry about using moves, using Pokeballs, and stuff like that. Also, I know people are going to be complaining. Fine, I'm just going to mash the Y button. Actually, if there's a way to, like, disable everything but Y, that'd be pretty funny. Um, this pick is only level 3. So, again, if I wanted to optimize it, I could skip this one, go for, like, a level 4, level 5 pick a pick. But, I mean, I didn't realize this Let's Play has already been going on for, like, 10 minutes. And I thought you could do Melee Melee in, like, under 2 hours. And I'm going to try to rush it. But I'm catching every Pokemon. But I'm not battling. So maybe once we get, like, to the later parts of Melee Melee, it's going to offset. Also, I'm just going to skip some of the stupid story stuff. Like, you don't need to see how the trial goes for Rattata. Oh, we have to we have to battle those guys, though. 
we'll just treat them like wild Pokemon. Like, okay, so there's legendary Pokemon battles, and I'm, I'm guessing some overworld Pokemon. I feel like you're going to have to battle Snorlax. Like, Snorlax is probably going to be a battle in Pokemon Let's Go. So that's something to know. Um, so I'm just going to treat anything, any forced Pokemon battle, like a wild Pokemon battle that exists in Pokemon Let's Go, because wild Pokemon battles are in Let's Go confirmed. It, like, see, there's a lot of things that people are just, like, needlessly hating on, but it all makes sense. Also, I wonder which which Pokemon on this route give more experience. I'd imagine Pikapek might give the most out of, out of Grub and, and Ladybug. Also, I need to hit the Y button. I'm just so bad. Everything's so manual with me. But I'm enjoying this. Like, imagine this with new Pokemon. Like, I think a Gen 8 would actually encourage you to catch more Pokemon if the catching system was like, let's go. Now, I'm not saying it will be. I'm not saying I want it like that. But I'm saying is, like... It's still going to be pretty fun. Also, the 151 dex is very achievable, or at least 150, because Mew, DLC, whatever. DLC, I don't, I don't think it's paid to buy Mew or whatever, because you the Pokeball Plus definitely makes it worth it. I'm going to be able to play with the Pokeball Plus as my controller. So there's going to be a lot of, like, fun little things going on, and it, it, it feels achievable. Completing the decks these days, where it's like hundreds of Pokemon or national decks for, you know... 800 Pokemon or something like that. It's overwhelming to where I just don't catch Pokemon. Like, I just refuse to catch Pokemon Sun and Moon because there were so many. Even though Alolan Pokemon, not a lot of new 7th generation, but the Alola Dex is, what, 2 something? So, I mean, only having to catch 150, I'm going to catch every Pokemon I see. I'm going to get EVs for it because you get EV training candy. You get, and then you can just use it for like a living Dex or get extra stuff. Almost messed up. I'm just going to throw the Pokeball. So, we're down to three Pokeballs. This is actually progressing pretty well. And how a level are we? Like, we're gaining good amounts of experience. See, like, that's the point of this lock. Is because people forgot. Like, I don't understand how people forgot that you gain experience when you catch a Pokemon. In Pokemon Let's Go, people saw trailer and like, This isn't a real Pokemon game because you're supposed, like, you can't, how are you going to level up? You're not going to be able to get any levels and you're going to get stuck in the game. It's like, you, you literally gain experience for catching Pokemon starting Gen 6. This has been around for years, you know? And it's actually, the experience rates without the bonus experience is still looking pretty good. Like I said, we're going to come out of level how? Like, level 11. We're going to beat up everyone at the trainer school like that, and Illumont might not even be a problem, because we're not trying to rush it too much. So, I mean, the amount of experience we're gaining is good. And these battles, and the ironic thing is that this is going faster. This is better quality of life than if I was doing a battle, because that's animation. Even if you turn the animations off, you know, two hits, take out a Pokemon, one throw to catch him in a ball. Uh, it's going to take more with the catch rates and stuff, but right here is actually, like, the best grinding. So I think that this actually really captures the Let's Go experience. If you're on the fence about Let's Go, do what I'm doing right now. If you can afford to restart, or if you have like a spare Sun and Moon uh, copy, or you know, just have, uh, if you have the ability to restart your game without losing all of your competitive Pokemon and stuff, or if you just have a, yeah, if, you, if you're in this position, you should do it. it. Feels kind of fun. Wow. Young Goose is trash experience. I only gained 14 experience like right there. What was that? I think Grubbin actually gives them those then. That Grubbin gave me like 43, and I think he was level 4 or 5. And now imagine if all these Pokemon that I was like sending to Oak, I could actually turn into candy and then make my Poplio stronger to then beat the game even more efficiently. That's the grinding I love. I want all of my, like, I want to have three stacks of diamonds. I'm never going to use three stacks of diamonds, but I found them. I have them if I ever need them. Never going to run out of diamonds in that game. Uh, so I think that's really how I'm feeling about this. It's cool. If I want to, I can skip this, because another feature that exists in Let's Go is like, what if you run out of Pokeballs? You're going to be stuck. You can't even can't even fight Pokemon. You run away. Because it's a main series game, and everything is the exact same. Are you feeling me on this? Because I'm liking this game right now. I'm actually having fun, guys, if you can tell. I'm having more fun playing Sun and Moon like Let's Go than playing Sun and Moon. I can't wait for these games to come out. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so happy. Oh, good, the Gak Grubbin. I mean, again, catch rates, trying to get the best Pokemon. This level, this 100% capture rate, I, it's so cool. So, actually, if only the, I could use the 3DS gyroscope. Also, I have my, well, I can't, oh, I am knocking things over. I'm trying to show you, yeah, I have my capture card, and I'm also kind of pinned by my charging cable. So, I'm, I'm like locked down, I can't throw my 3DS, but let's, let's make a simulated catching, oh, I need to change the options after this. So yeah, Pokeball. <sighs> I was, that was terrible. But we we did it, guys. We're playing Pokemon. Let's go. I, I want the Pokeball Plus. That's, that sounds like a really fun thing. Actually, I should, I should, dude, I could make this like the cheesiest Let's Play of all time. And it would be hilarious. Because I could go dig up like a Pokeball and then 
throw it every time. I have heard that the Pokemon Plus is annoying because it has to be facing. Oh, select so Pokemon to swap. Um, we have enough Ladybug. Let's go and put this Grubbin in here. Yeah. And, like, you have to have it facing a certain direction, so you can't just, like, throw it like a normal Pokeball. You have to you have to do that flick that you see. Huh. I'm also getting Steam messages. Might want to... Might... Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make some changes right now, and then we're going to be back, and then this is going to be cool. So mostly just, like, options. Okay, and we're back, and I just got into the last one with the Pokeball. Because, again, I don't want too much dead time with this. I just want to... Get my get my point across when it comes to this. So yeah, I have my Pokeball. I think the Pokeball Plus is actually smaller than this because you know it's supposed to fit in a kid's kid's hand. Even though I have small hands, you know it's like all right. So we have that, and then it has a little button. So I mean, we, we can act like we're playing the game. And it's like all right. So let's use, and then V use Pokeball. Go! Yeah, we catch it, guys. I mean, I like that. And then the boom, we got it. And then it shakes, and then ours. Yeah, we caught Ladybug. So I mean, I see I could get cheesy. That's why the L equal L equal A is just like the greatest thing that ever happened to Pokemon. Uh, the experience rates are dropping off because whatever. Is it is it that much diminishing returns? I didn't think they diminished returns like that in Sun and, in Sun and Moon, especially because we're like over leveled now. And I thought we were we were getting like 40s and stuff, unless Ladybug and Young Goose just have trash experience rates. Also, I don't have Pokeball, so we just run away from this one. It's also like 100% run chance in Route One. So, I mean, baby game, super easy. Yeah, it's like, well, this was the same in X and Y, and I didn't see anyone complaining. I didn't see anyone complain about this in Sun and Moon either. With how free, just how free the first island is. A little most challenging, though. Like, there's some challenges, but I mean, there's challenges in every Pokemon game that's easy. It's mostly just, like, the story hand-holding that people are not a fan of, and I'm agree I agree with that. So, as long as we don't get... You know, as long as we don't get stopped every five seconds, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee is going to be fine. Even with the gym changes, gym changes aren't handholdy. That isn't you getting stopped for a tutorial lesson every four freaking steps. But yeah, like, so we're making decent progress right here. And then we're going to battle how, and then things are going to be cool. So now, let's see what our, let's see what our level nine Poplio does this level four young goose. Is it a one-hit KO? Dang. I wasn't expecting that, because I think there was, like, that, that fight that we had earlier against the other trainer that didn't, like, dunk. I mean, we still went all right. Oh, I want to see my Poplio's nature. Ooh, 22 experience. So yeah, we can get level 10. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get enough off how. If we if we played this perfectly, if we optimize the catches, we'd be fine. But yeah, see how fast? Like, it's just faster to gain experience to catch Pokemon like this. Or, yeah, to catch, not battle. So if I see a Pokemon, I don't have any Pokeballs. Have to run. Uh, again, let's go Pikachu and Eevee is not going to be as gated. So I'm, I'm super excited for all this. I think this is pretty cool. And I don't know if that's a Pokeball. The only reason why I'm running for that is I'm hoping it's a Pokeball. Because then I can use it on the way out. And then we get repels and then this game becomes pretty cool. So, can I... And now, see? The wild Pokemon encounter is frustrating me. I don't want this. If I don't want to be catching a Pokemon, I don't want to be battling a Pokemon. So, I th like, the way that people act when it comes to uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee and hating the battle mechanics. Like, so you have appreciated every single wild battle that you've... Oh, no, not fight. My 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 uh, circle pad is completely broken. I pressed down and it went to the right. Oh, we need we need a Pokemon game on the Switch. 3DS cannot handle it. 3DS cannot handle modern Pokemon. Paralyze heal. I didn't know they had that for the uh, Pichu that Hal has. I also maybe should have saved a couple Pokeballs because I knew there was an item there. I've just never picked it up. But um, oh man, that Metapod would be worth bank. That what's that? Is it like level? Oh, it's level three. Eh, let's say if that was like a level five Metapod with 5% encounter rate, get insane experience off that bad boy. So yeah, I'd have the Pokeballs and let's go to face that. I wouldn't be like, oh, uh, you know, that's how I feel about it. I just grind repels and then things happen. Also, I'm going to skip ahead to the battle because like I said, any story stuff, we all know what happens. There's nothing unique that could be contributed by this happening. And let the battle begin, except for cutscene. I, I th yeah, I, I clicked yes, and now we still got to wait. All right, so, um, yeah, and also, I guess this is where I'm just going to say that I don't know if I'm going to make this a full Let's Play Pokemon Sun and Moon. It was mostly, my idea was just making a one-off playthrough kind of idea, showing that Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee isn't bad at all. And also clarifying, because there's hundreds, thousands of people that don't realize you can gain experience through catching Pokemon. And that terrifies me, and it's just kind of showing, look how this, this is, it's more viable to catch Pokemon in Pokemon Sun and Moon to beat the game 
than it is to actually battle them. Like that, that's that's like what we're draw drawing from right here. Also, I'm like seven videos ahead or like a week, five, six, seven week of videos ahead right now. So if you want to keep seeing more of this Let's Play, like I might just finish up Melee Melee Island, throw up like another one-off kind of video. Just kind of see the progression because, okay, I made it through the tutorial area like this. That doesn't speak for its viability, even though it looks like we're already doing pretty good on the levels. So, Pichu, it hurts, man. But we got the two shot right there. I actually, the first time I played Pokemon Sun and Moon, I almost lost this because I got paralyzed like several times in a row. And I used up all my potions because I was paralyzed so much. And Pichu got like a crit after a potion use. I got like crit twice, three paralysis. I almost lost. It was scary. Um, level 10 Poplio. Here comes the Linton. We're going to one-shot the Linton. So if you if you really want to see more of this, you know you need to like the video. You need to come out, bring your support because if it's still like really low views just because it's a let's play, I don't do let's plays. People don't come to me for let's plays. If it breaks down like that, that six seven experience wasn't even that much. I was like two Pokemon battles or two Pokemon catches, X amount of trainer battles. So yeah, maybe they, we could have come out level eleven. I still believe it if we caught like the best Pokemon. And now we got yeah we, so. We got a cutscene. So yeah, if you want to see some more, don't forget to leave a like, share with your friends, try to get as much views out there on this video, because then I'll like justify it, you know? I don't want to turn this into a dead Let's Play. It's just mostly a cool idea. I think a lot of people would be excited for this video as like a one-off, this idea, just kind of showing how Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee works, because you can do it. You can play Let's Go in seven generation games, even six generation games. I just didn't want to play X and Y again, because I don't like the friends that we have in the beginning. Now, I think that this works well to kind of show off my idea and I, I hope you guys enjoyed it so hope you guys enjoy the video hope you all have a nice day thank you very much for watching as we travel to the four islands